And what are you working on? Um, what I'm uh, well, I, I have several um, several different um, occupations right now. I'm uh, trying to do a, um, a review of some applications to a uh, a um, an institution in in China. Um, so I have to read a, a lot of the uh, applications and try to to somehow evaluate them. Um, I'm, I'm also uh, an edit- a member of the editorial board of Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences. Um, I don't know if you know that it's um, uh, one of the, the sort of fairly prestigious uh, scientific uh, journals in, in the U.S. Um, so I have to review manuscripts for that, and I did a couple of those. Um, and then um, I'm also working on an individual research topic, which is. Um, a particular um, metal, um, strontium ruthenate, which becomes superconducting at low enough temperatures. And it's a particularly interesting metal because, um, as you probably know, there's been a, um, a rather interesting proposal over the last 20 years or so to, um, t- to develop a form of, com- of computing uh, called quantum computing. Um, and uh, there's a particular sub-species uh, of quantum computing, which is called topological quantum computing, where you, in some sense, try to bury the information which you would like to keep, but you don't want nature to screw up. So you try to hide it in the many degrees of freedom of a so-called many-body system, that is, a system of many atoms or whatever. Um, and uh, so it, it, uh, it's thought that strontium ruthenate, this particular metal, might be a good candidate um, to carry out this kind of operation. However, there have been uh, various experiments over the last 20 years, and they don't seem to be mutually consistent, as far as we can see, or rather, they're not mutually consistent within within the existing theoretical ideas concerning this metal. And so I'm trying to sort that out in one sense or another, theoretically. Very interesting. Uh, uh, good luck. <laughs> <laughs>